It's never happened before in our sport in mountain biking. Why should I be the first person to do it? Something's going to go wrong, my luck's going to change, you know, I'm going to crash. <laughs> oh, oh, no way. I came into last winter and I did train well. We spent the whole winter kind of working on what I knew was my weaknesses from the races and before. And the fun really started when we went to Portugal, just to kind of make that transition from like training to testing everything we could think of, timing runs and really getting into the kind of race prep. Holy moly! I do enjoy the track in Kens, and I remember one section come over a bridge and we caught screw underneath, and I was trying to gap out of it like the men were doing. I couldn't get myself to do it. I was trying, pushing back up, going again, chicken out. And in the end, I kind of made up my own little version of it, which I was confident doing. Hopefully that's enough when you get to the finish. Midges. Don't worry. Been shopping. Got myself a midge net. Can't see anything. <laughs> I think using the GoPro it really has been a game changer because I film every single run and it allows you to practice the course right into the evening. It's sort of become like a little ritual to me. I kind of get all settled down and I watch my GoPro run and I'm so familiar with it, the track, I know exactly where I'm going. Yo, Richie! Look, she's looking for his crash spots. So you can you crash on a nice bit instead of a hard bit. Jesus. Yeah, I think one of the things that sort of keeps me grounded through a race season is being with G, you know, I'm his little sister. I'm always just annoying him and I think that stops you from getting too carried away. And Brownie's going to run down beside G with a mattress hold, holding it next to him so he can crash into it. Too hard to deal with. Damn. World champs, it's all or nothing and it's mental how much pressure there is to win it. My race run was pretty wild. Third or fourth corner there was like a little fly off. Jumped off it, smashed my hand. Luckily there was a flat bit afterwards and I was like, I broke my thumb, it's world champs. Doesn't matter, compose myself as much as I could. When I rode the rest of the track in disbelief that, that I'd like messed it up. I just came into the finish and I remember thinking to myself, I'm going to look at the hot seat and I looked over at them and I was so confused and I turned around. Brilliant, brilliant. What a run. 2016 for me was the highlight of my entire life so far, you know, it's just been incredible. Yeah.